First, we will talk about atherosclerosis. As you can see in the picture, we can see a healthy artery. The green is the arterial wall, and the red is the blood flow through the artery. It's clear that there are no blockages or residues on the arterial wall. As you can see in this picture, these are the early stages of atherosclerosis. Clearly, there is a visible buildup of fatty materials such as cholesterol on the bottom of the arterial wall. Because of this, the artery is constricted. This causes the blood flow to move through a smaller space and causing a higher blood pressure inside the artery. These are the later stages of atherosclerosis. As you can see, the buildup of fatty materials has become quite noticeable. This buildup inhibits the proper blood flow through the artery. Now the blood has to flow through a much smaller space, which greatly increases the blood pressure inside the artery. In the blood vessels on the right, you can see healthy blood vessels and their blood flow. Coronary thrombosis is the clotting of such blood vessels in the heart by thromboli. Thromboli are made up of fatty tissue and plaque. Both Arteriosclerosis and coronary thrombosis can lead to a heart attack. Hello! So, you're here to find out what it's like to have a, a heart attack. Well, we don't have much time because with heart attacks you'd never do. Well, let's start with the first symptom most people think of. Yes, chest pains. Well, we've all heard of the classic chest pains, but it may not always be that severe. It could be a bit of tightness or discomfort in and around the chest. No doubt you'll shrug this off. I mean, uh, slight chest discomfort, tightness, not worth worrying about, right? Wrong. What if it spreads to your arms? Still not convinced you're having a heart attack? Well, what if you feel dizzy, lightheaded? Oh, still thinking, don't make a fuss. What if it spreads to your neck, to your jaw? You're probably thinking, tough it out, it will pass. What if it doesn't? The longer you leave it, the more your heart dies. How about difficulty Breathing. Rising panic, sweaty, clammy. Could be indigestion, last night's curry. Stress. But what if it's your body telling you to get help? Don't kid yourself. If you're having chest pains or discomfort with any of these symptoms, or even if you're feeling unwell, dial 999. Now, this may surprise you. The ambulance service would rather see you and discover it's not a heart attack than arrive too late. Every second counts. I know you think you'd feel embarrassed if it's not actually a heart attack, but imagine how you'll feel if it is, and you left it too late. Imagine that. <laughs>